Clayton, a nil-nil draw today with Hereford. What's your initial thoughts after that? I thought it was a hard on, hard on point. I um, thought we had the better chances. Could have maybe nicked it with a little bit of luck in the box. But um, I thought the boys played well. Um, happy with the performance. Couldn't fault the effort. Yeah, I think overall, I think Hereford came and changed the system, changed the uh, style of play, which again shows, gives us a bit, shows a bit of a, a compliment there. Gave us a little bit of compliment in that in that sense. Uh, they don't, I don't think they played three five two all season. So the fact that they had to change their ways, knowing coming here was going to be difficult if if the um, players had tried to play a nice um, nice football, because um, we you know we. We work off uh, energy, endeavour, uh, and fight, and, and that's what we bring. So I think they came and tried to match that today. Um, so no, happy, happy with the performance. I think it's a good point. Another clean sheet, five games unbeaten now. So um, I think we started to turn that corner, and we're getting players back back now as well, which is at the right time, I think. Yeah, it was uh, so our so, sorry. So it's our yeah. second nil nil in a row. You know, got another hard point against uh, Spennymore on Tuesday. Is that showed you know a strong side to this team now that we can graph these points out. Yeah, yeah, we've been a lot more resilient now in the fact in both box well in defending boxes anyway. I thought we were defending uh, our box really well, really well the last couple of games, which shows with the clean sheet. Nullified Hereford. Uh, I don't think I think San had one one save to make. Was it a header uh, from a corner? I think it was. Second half, over the night, didn't really have much to do, and on Tuesdays, I didn't have a save to make on Tuesdays, so we've been a lot more tighter in our in our in our box, which uh, which is pleasing uh, because we you know we haven't kept clean sheets during the season at home, um, so the fact that we've got that now back to back gives the boys extra confidence. Now it's just a case of getting that little extra look in the fight in in the opposite box, which yeah, a few little ricochets here and there didn't really fall for us today today, but. It's, it's come in as long as we got that base to, to build on I think we'll be fine yeah we have been looking a lot more resolute at the back you know we also had Isaac Asenso come into there made his first start of the season for Farsley won the House of Wines player of the match how did you think he did today? I thought it was fantastic uh, magnificent you know he's worked hard to be fair you know for pre-season being injured and missing the whole of pre-season through injury and we had to send him out alone to get a few um, game time um, and then just come like I said it's his word just come back a totally different player mm -hmm. His performance today, first start, first league start of the season, uh, man of the match. You can't, can't fault it to be honest. I thought it was outstanding. Um, gave their their player nothing, nothing all game really, and it's that's just the rewards you get when you work hard. You go away, work hard, get game time, work on yourself, and he's he's done, he's done exactly that. So it's a great example to any player that's you know missing games through fitness or whatever. Went out on loan and did his job and come back a whole different player. So uh, I've, yeah, got a clapping for that. Yeah, picking up on that Zanluck the band save as well. You know, there's not been many moments of real quality throughout the game. No clear cut chances until that that header there at the end, and he's produced an amazing save, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. He has. He got three. The uh, number I think it was number nine got three on the back stick. I think it was a corner that went out, and then uh, I think it was like the second, third phase. Uh, so I think we switched off a little bit there, and San San came to the rescue. You know, he's done that all season, so um, he'll be pleased with that. We, we're definitely pleased with that. Um, he definitely could have turned the corner. If they would have got that goal, uh, it would have been back to the pumps there and, and, and all to work for. But no, like I say, that's what he's there for and that's that's the quality he brings. Yeah, and now we move away from the Citadel. We've just had you know, three games in a row. We're away at Peterborough Sports on Saturday. Looking forward to that one. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Another long trip, long journey away. But our way, our way form has been really good this this year. Um, and you, So we, we don't fear anyone on the road. So... We'll be going there to try and get all three points. I think Peter Bus picked up a little bit of late. I think they've got another win today. Um, just behind us, sitting, I think they're sitting just behind us in the table. So they've picked up a little bit. So it won't be an easy game, but you know, hopefully we get another player back from injury uh, next week and that'll boost us up. So I think we, it's a good, probably a good time to play. Yeah, and speaking of you know, getting them players back from injury, we had Conor Branson come back today. Obviously, that was from a suspension as well. Isaac's come back. Who else can we expect to see back in the near future? Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, myself. You know, I'm not too far away. Um, like I say, Isaac's come back. Uh, then you've got Connor from suspension. Tom, Tom Allen came on, made an appearance. You know, after being out with a hamstring injury, um, makeshift striker to, uh, striker today. I think he's uh, after after the game. I think he said, oh, "I know why the strikers get paid big bucks because it's not easy. It's not easy, is it?" So I was, <laughs> had a little laugh and joke with him about that. Um, but no, like I said, that's three players we've had back today, really which has been a massive boost and then hopefully we can get hopefully myself or 
Uh, there's a few things going in the pipeline, you never know. Um, obviously Harry trained last week as well, uh, Harry um, Sheridan. So it was good to have him back training. So hopefully, you know, that could be another addition if ever, everything goes well uh, next week. <laughs>